Hello guys and today I'm going to be doing a haul of my recent purchases for you because I've been obsessed with buying stuff recently and I've been spending quite a lot of money on the things I've bought so I just wanted to show you what I've been buying recently and I hope you like it so let's go now the first things are to do with makeup and I don't wear makeup that often but I have been buying quite a lot recently and I just want to show you what I have been buying so first of all is the Rouge Edition Velvet and this is in colour number 11 it's like a pale pinky colour and this is um, a matte finish kind of lip product so it's not really glossy and really wet it's really matte and it comes out really bright and it's highly pigmented it's just really really nice and the packaging is so pretty and I love it so much and that is from it's from super jug but it's by the brand bourgeois and the color is called so ha pink so like so happy but with pink on the end which is quite a bad pun actually next is roller lash like i like how it has the statistics on the side of it it says 97% say it visibly lifts lashes and it's from Benefit and it's super curling and lifting mascara this was quite pricey and I wouldn't normally buy stuff like this but I was impulse buying and I really wanted it and look how pretty it is I don't know if that's in focus but um, it's got a pink top and a black bottom and the brush is super thin to help spread out the lashes and create better effect for your lashes. So yeah, that was expense. That's the most expensive thing I've ever bought for makeup, I think, actually, apart from one of my palettes for eyeshadows. I have a MAC matte lipstick in the colour Please Me. And... I bought this is my first MAC product I've ever bought actually if I can get out of the box um, in the bullet like lipstick and it is a really nice like pale pink smells like vanilla and chocolate together I don't know it just smells amazing and it has MAC and it's so pretty and I wore it the other day and I love it and it's just the fact that it's so beautiful and I've always wanted a MAC product I didn't want a shiny one because it was too glittery but I got a matte one and I'm in love like it was so beautiful and I really wanted it and now I have it I'm just so happy I did get it so that was a really good purchase and I'll be using that a lot in the months to come Next is homeware and I only have one thing for this because it was an impulse bite and I really wanted it but um, it is this copper bottom cup from Oliver Bonus I think they aren't that expensive and they are so beautiful but they've got a they shine in the light, they're so pretty and they're great to drink out of because you can fit a lot of drink in them and last you a while. They are so nice and they are glass but they um, have like a copper bit around it and then a glass bottom so they're really nice to like drink out of and this is mine so no one else in my house can use it which is good because I paid for it myself so no one should be using it anyway um, but this is really nice and I recommend you buy them if you don't have nice glasses and you like the look of this and you love copper I really do um, so yeah Oliver Bonus 
they have such nice stuff anyway so go buy them I'm going to move on to books now I love to read like it's one of my favorite things to do and um, I really like reading any type of books I like mostly like fiction books and um, autobiographies so I'm going to show you the books I bought now I've got three of them and I've been loving them at the minute so I'll show you we have um, Grace Helbig's book it's called Grace's Guide The Art of Pretending to be a Grown Up by Grace Helbig it is so funny I am not a grown up yet but um, I still understand what she means and it's honestly so funny I'm in the middle of this one right now and I'm finding it so helpful and it's so funny like honestly I love Grace so much also name twins um, but she's hilarious and I love her to pieces she's so good at what she does and she's so down to earth and to have a book that portrays her personality really well is amazing and I just love that about her which is um, really good and I I'm gonna finish this soon I really need to read more because I'm spending too much time on my iPod at the minute because I'm obsessed with Twitter that is unfortunate so I really love this and I think you should give it a read because she's truly amazing and she's amazing um, next is Connor Franta's book a work in progress how cool is this cover I don't know if you can see it but it's like textured like here and then if you fold out it's like sky there so you can see it through the front and I haven't got around to reading this but it's a memoir um, and it's so pretty and I love Connor and I'm so proud of everything he's achieved and I really need to get around to reading this because apparently it is amazing and it's like about him and stuff so I need to get around to reading this and it's obviously um, gonna be a good book because why wouldn't it be because Connor's amazing so why wouldn't it be good so just go read that it is Live Life Beauty by Keegan Allen who if you didn't know he plays Toby in Pretty Little Liars and basically he's really into photography and he's been doing a lot recently and he's made a book about it let me see if I can find a good page so he's got a lot of pages in here I like this one it's got a picture of fingers through a lens with Niagara Falls it is so beautiful and on the front is a picture of him holding a camera and it's got a little printed autograph on the back with a photographic journey and live life beauty with a picture of the sky which is really cool I love Keegan Allen and I have met him um, at a convention and he's always taking photos um, so for him to bring up a book like this and to do something other than acting is really cool and I'm fully supporting him in that also he's selling um, shirts with Spoby on them Spoby is Spencer and Toby he's Toby in Pretty Little Lies and Spencer is Troy and Belisario and they have like shirts with the picture of them on and I'm ordering one and they are so cool and I would I would really advise you to buy one if you watch Pretty Little Lies and love it so yeah that's um, Keegan Allen's book and oh my god the pictures are so beautiful so yeah just go give that read if you like photography next I'm moving on to fashion a lot of these items are from high street stores and online stores that don't cost a lot of money so you can go and buy them yourself if you'd like them so I'm going to show you what I bought now I got these um, they are like air hole um, slip-on pumps from Boohoo 
I have quite big feet and they fit because I have quite wide feet as well which is really good because I struggle to find pairs of shoes that fit and they aren't too expensive either which means that I can buy a lot of pairs if I want to but I don't obviously because I only wanted one um, but these are really nice and they're like a navy blue colour so um, yeah I really like these and I wear them most days and they're just easy to put on so I really like these and my sunglasses, they are pastel lavender colour and they're for blocking out the haters because you know why not <laughs> um, no they're really good for sun protection and they're my favourite colour I really love them and they're like half shell ones, they don't cover the full rim so they look nice and I really like wearing them and they've been my go to sunglasses for the past few weeks since I got them from Boohoo they're really pretty and I'd suggest checking out Boohoo if you haven't already because they have some really nice stuff and yeah so I really like these and I have an obsession with friends so this is a friends top from Primark they seem to have a new friends top every time I go there it is that one's got a big picture of the friends cast on it and it says friends at the bottom I also have three three others I think or two others I have a central perk one one with three pictures of the cast and I think that one, okay so I think I have three um, but yeah they are like my favourite friends tops and they're so nice like I always buy them which is really just a blessing because I love friends and who doesn't so yeah and my last thing is this it is my most expensive thing in here it is my leather jacket from New Look it was quite expensive but I had some vouchers so I could afford to buy it I don't know if you can see but like it's got like a plush detail there and it's got silver buttons and it's just to die for and it's so comfortable I wear it like all the time I must probably not squish it um, yeah I just really like it and it's so soft and comfortable and silky on the inside so leather jackets are always a plus and I've never owned one before but this is so good for a first one I really love it and I'm just I would recommend you get a leather jacket because it's not too hot but it's not too cold either to wear so I recommend you buy one anyway I hope you like this haul and it gives you an insight into what things I like and I hope to see you next week I love you all I'll see you next week bye <laughs>